time to stock up our freezers. I have five breakfast freezer meals to share with you today. It's going to give you the energy that you need and get your day started out right. Yesterday I did most of the prep work. I went ahead and scrambled up the sausage. I cut up onion, green pepper, green onion. So I tried to do mostly everything yesterday. I still have quite a bit yet to do today. I'm gonna start off with breakfast bowls. I'm gonna start sauteing some onion and green pepper in this pan. I did spray the pan, <laughs> so hopefully nothing sticks. I have eight eggs with some salt and pepper. I'm gonna add that to the peppers and onions and scramble them up. It smells good already, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Peppers and onions, mmm. I have eight small red potatoes that I diced. I season them simply with salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, and I put them in my air fryer and cooked them up that way. So I'm gonna add these to four individual bowls. If you want to, you can make eight breakfast bowls out of this, but I'm gonna do four so that there's a little more in each bowl. So I have some Jimmy Dean breakfast sausage. I'm gonna add that right into the potatoes. We'd have more sausage, but Jason stole some this morning for breakfast. It's her fault. If she wouldn't have been making this stuff last night and making the house smell so good, I wouldn't have had to steal some to make a breakfast bowl this morning. I haven't had it sitting out and it was cooling and he'd pass by and he's like, one, I'm like, stop. He'd pass by again, another one, I'm like, stop, I need sausage. Sausage is my weakness. And bacon. And, and steak. And <laughs> Now we're gonna add the egg mixture on top of the potatoes and sausage. And then once I get the egg mixture in these bowls, I'm gonna set the bowls aside and I'm gonna let them cool for a little bit before I start the next step. Now I'm gonna put together some breakfast egg muffins. I have my 12 muffin pan out and I'm spraying each individual cup. In this bowl, I have 10 eggs. I'm gonna add some salt and pepper, half a teaspoon of onion powder, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, and a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper. If you don't want a little kick, you can leave this out. To the muffin tins, I'm gonna add in each one a little bit of the green onion. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of ham to each muffin tin. A little bit of cheddar cheese. And now a little bit of Monterey Jack cheese. You're gonna layer your ingredients in the pan, leaving a bit of the ingredients off to the side to top your egg muffin cups at the end. Carefully pour your whisked eggs into the muffin tins about halfway, let it settle, and then add a little more eggs. You want your muffin tins filled almost all the way to the top. Once your muffin tins are filled, take a fork and lightly stir each of the muffin tins to mix everything together. Top with reserved ingredients and then bake. I have preheated my oven to 375 and these are headed in there for 25 minutes. My breakfast bowls have cooled off completely so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add some shredded cheese right to the top of them. I'm gonna cover these up really well and they are going in the freezer. Next up is freezer breakfast burritos. We have eight eggs in this bowl. Now we're adding a third cup of half and half. Do we need seasonings, do you know? Salt and pepper it says. Okay, we gotta get that. Don't worry, we're professionals, right? We know sure. what we're doing. Is that enough salt? That's not funny. <laughs> okay, so we have sausage we're adding to the pan. Now we're gonna add the eggs with the half and half. Turning on the burner is a good thing, honey. No sizzle because the pan's not heated up yet. <laughs> I have two cups of hash browns in the air fryer. I'm gonna set those out. Those look perfect, don't they? So I have refried beans down the center of two tortillas. Next I added four tater tots, but Jason mashed them with a fork, so they just kind of blend in with the refried beans. Now I've added the egg and sausage mixture. On top of that, I'm adding a little bit of tomato. I have two Roma tomatoes chopped up, mild shredded cheddar cheese, shredded Monterey Jack cheese. I'm kind of like smushing these down a little bit because I want these to fold up into a burrito style. Look how full they are. Okay, now, if you like cilantro, you can add cilantro to these. If you don't, just leave it out, no biggie. Got them rolled up burrito style. I'm wrapping them individually in a saran wrap. So this made eight burritos for us. I have them in a two gallon storage freezer bag, all individually wrapped. 
I'm gonna write the heating instructions on this bag as well. Now we're gonna make some freezer friendly pancake muffins. The ingredients are three cups of pancake mix, three eggs, three quarter cup of syrup, one cup of milk, and a fourth teaspoon of vanilla. Ooh, and you're not wearing an apron either, are you? No. See, if, if this were me, I would have flour all over my shirt. Jason, I see that you can comment. You want to comment so bad on that? No, no, I'm not going <laughs> to say anything. <laughs> the instructions say to spray the muffin liners, so Jason went ahead and did that. Thank you, honey. Okay, hey, now I'm going to fill each of these two-thirds full with the pancake batter. I have my oven preheating to 350. After these pancake muffins came out of the oven and they cooled off a little bit, Jason tried one and he absolutely loved it. He said that the flavor was amazing. He didn't only eat one, he ate two. He said they were just that good. Don't mind the mess all around us. You know, it's been a very productive day today, hasn't it? <laughs> yes, it is. All right, now at this point, I'm gonna top these. You can top these with bacon, any kind of fruit, blueberries, whatever that you like, brown sugar, chocolate chips so this part is just completely up to you i use the pre-cooked bacon it just takes a few seconds in the microwave got it all nice and crispy and broke it up and then i'm also going to use some chocolate chips i was going to add blueberries oh blueberries i'll add, I'll add blueberry pancakes blueberry jason pancakes. was like uh no all bacon and justin's like no chocolate chips sweet and salty justin you're sweet yes Jason decided he wanted blueberries after after I told on him. <laughs> me? Yeah, he's like, add, add three of them blueberries. So this made 18 perfectly. We had just enough batter for every single one of them. And there's the blueberries, the bacon, the chocolate chips. These are going in the oven on 350 for 15 minutes. The egg muffins just pop right out with ease. I'm gonna wrap each of these individually and put them in a two gallon freezer bag. Okay, so the instructions to reheat these are wrap them in a damp paper towel. Well, take off the plastic wrap first. <laughs> wrap, wrap them in a damp paper towel and then microwave them for 15 second increments. I have 12 rolls setting out and I'm gonna let them thaw completely before I start working with them. Lastly, we're gonna make some breakfast ham and cheese calzones. I have two rolls and I rolled them out a little bit just to make them wider. At the stove, Jason is scrambling up 12 eggs with a little bit of salt and pepper and like a tablespoon of milk. I also have my oven heating up to 350. On one half of the roll, I put a little bit of the egg. I'm adding some cubed ham to it, shredded cheddar cheese, I folded the other half over and I'm gonna press with a fork all the way around sealing the calzone. Now you can put some egg white over the top and add anything like sea salt, Parmesan cheese, sesame seeds, but we're not going to do that, but you can just add whatever you want to the top of these. So we have two pans of calzones. I have this one and this one. I preheated my oven to 350 and I'm gonna bake these for 15 minutes. The pancake muffins, we wrapped those individually in a two gallon freezer bag and I wrote the instructions to reheat them on the top of the bag. These are the calzones, we wrapped those individually and in a two gallon Ziploc freezer bag and I wrote the instructions on the top of it to reheat. We love a good breakfast. I'm really liking the variety of these breakfast meals. I am so glad we put these freezer meals together. It's going to be a quick grab breakfast for Jason when he is running out the door to work during the week or when we're having a nice lazy day and we get hungry even mid-morning. We can go to the freezer and there's breakfast already ready for us. All we have to do is heat it up and enjoy. All of these recipes are linked below. I hope you and your family enjoy them just as much as we are. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you soon.